Welcome to All Theory, No Conspiracy. Don't forget to like, subscribe, click to receive notifications, and leave a comment. The purpose of this video is to shed some light on a very nefarious plan drawn up by the U.S. Joint Chiefs of Staff to frame the country of Cuba as the perpetrators in a series of terrorist acts that were to be staged on American soil. The plan was called Operation North Woods. False flag, a hostile or harmful action, such as an attack, that is designed to look like it was perpetrated by someone other than the person or group responsible for it. Example given. In case you didn't know, a false flag is an incident that is designed to deceive people into thinking it was actually carried out by someone else. Nick Jambruno. Operation Northwoods was proposed as a false flag operation against American citizens that was drawn up within the U.S. Department of Defense in 1962. The plan was drafted by the Joint Chiefs of Staff, signed by Chairman Lyman Lemnitzer, and sent to the Secretary of Defense. The plan called for CIA operatives to stage and commit acts of violent terrorism against American military and civilian targets while blaming it on the Cuban government. This was to be enacted to justify a war against Cuba, who were considered Soviet allies. There were many ideas in place to implement the plan, including the remote control of civilian aircraft, which would be secretly repainted as U.S. Air Force planes, and a staged downing of U.S. Air Force fighter aircraft off the coast of Cuba. The plan also called for the assassination of Cuban immigrants, sinking boats of Cuban refugees en route to the U.S., bombing a U.S. ship, and launching a communist Cuban terror campaign in the Miami area and in other Florida cities. Operation Northwoods also included a plot to target an empty U.S. ship in Guantanamo Bay and blame it on Havana, sabotage ship and harbor, Large fires, says a Pentagon memo. Sink ship near harbor entrance. Conduct funeral for mock victims. Operation Northwoods was never officially accepted. It was authorized by the U.S. Joint Chiefs of Staff, but the proposals were rejected by President John F. Kennedy. Kennedy's presidency was cut short when he was assassinated on November 22nd of the following year. Under the Operation Mongoose program, the U.S. Department of Defense had a number of similar proposals for actions to be taken against the Cuban regime of Fidel Castro. Twelve of these proposals come from a February 2nd 1962 memorandum entitled Possible Actions to Provoke, Harass, or Disrupt Cuba, written by Brigadier General William H. Craig, and submitted to Brigadier General Edward Lansdale, the commander of the Operation Mongoose project. There was also Operation Bingo, a false flag plan to create an incident which has the appearance of an attack on U.S. military facilities in Guantanamo Bay, Cuba, to provide an excuse for the use of U.S. military might to overthrow the current government of Cuba. Another planned false flag was Operation Dirty Trick, a plot to blame Castro if the 1962 Mercury spaceflight carrying John Glenn crashed, stating, the objective is to provide irrevocable proof that should the Mercury manned orbit flight fail, the fault lies 
with the communists in Cuba. This to be accomplished by manufacturing various pieces of evidence which would prove electronic interference on the part of the Cubans. False flag operations have been a part of military and covert intelligence strategies to disrupt, distract, confuse and blame one group or another with the pretext of launching an offensive against that group in retaliation. The term false flag first originated in the 16th century. It means an intentional misrepresentation of someone's allegiance. There have been numerous false flags perpetrated in our recent history. Far too many to mention here. The scenarios that were a part of Operation Northwoods are very similar to another incident from not so long ago. A link to the PDF of the Operation Northwoods document is in the description of this video. The end? Stay tuned for more content from All Theory, No Conspiracy. Thank you for watching.